express any variables using two variables. So I'm going to express enthalpy as a function of two variables, temperature and pressure. And then take differentiation to get two terms like this. Okay? The first term is enthalpy change. Oh, by the way, the one, the hat here represents per mass. So this is specific enthalpy. The first term is enthalpy differentiated with respect to temperature at, pr at pressure con at uh, constant pressure. What is this term? It's Cp, right? But now it's Cp per mass. You get Cp dt. Added by this term, the differentiation of enthalpy with respect to pressure at constant temperature. This term requires a little bit of manipulation. It requires the Maxwell law, Maxwell equation. At the end, you can expand them like this. If you take enthalpy to be TDS plus VDP, differentiated with respect to pressure for both terms, this term become one. Okay? And this term, according to Maxwell correlation, it turns to be minus dV by dT at constant pressure. Okay? I should, I don't need to do it in detail for you guys, right? Because I'm sure you remember. Can I assume it right? Again, enthalpy is TDS plus VDP. Differentiated with pressure for these two terms. And then th this term is dropped because it is 1. This term is according to Maxwell. You can change DS by DP to be DV by DT. That's Maxwell. All right? Now, everything in this parenthesis or this bracket would be a variable that you can measure. Temperature, specific volume, which is inverse of density, and pressure. Okay? So at the end, you have CPDT plus V This equation is still written as derivative, but in here we need enthalpy as the integrated enthalpy. So we need to integrate this equation. Okay? If you integrate it, you integrate dh here, integrate this term, integrate this term. The left hand side, or oh, normally integration is supposed to have limit. We integrate from which place to which place. We normally integrate it from reference to enthalpy of your system. Okay? This one will be plugged in our equation. This one is enthalpy at the reference state. If I call this one enthalpy reference, okay? The left-hand side, you'll get 
enthalpy at our system subtracted by enthalpy at the reference. The first term, integration of CP dt. Of course, you integrate it from reference state to temperature of the system. The temperature of reference, if I call this one T0. If you assume that CP is constant with respect to temperature, it's not function of temperature, then you can simply take CP out and then you have T minus T0. Of course, if you take the more dynamics, CP is not function of temperature, then you plug in CP as polynomial and integrate it later. That's just, again, mathematics. All right? This term, on the other hand, you integrate it with pressure. You start from reference state to pressure of the system. If you take reference state pressure to be P0, how can we integrate this term? This second term must be considered in two cases. First, if you have gas or if you have liquid. Okay? For gas, we normally assume it to be ideal gas. That means the term dV by dP, dV by dT at pressure constant, supposed to equal to R over pressure because um, specific volume here can be represented by using ideal gas law, okay? Differentiated with respect to temperature and pressure constant, you get R over P. Of course, right now, R is not 8.314 because this one is per mass, not per mole, okay? But it's constant. So if you plug this back in here, you get RT over P which equal to volume again, the volume subtracted by volume, then you get V minus T dV by dT at constant pressure to be zero, right? For liquid, normally we assume it to be incompressible If the fluid is incompressible, that means constant density. And density is one over specific volume. If density is constant, specific volume is supposed to be constant, you differentiate it with respect to temperature, this term goes to zero. Okay? So in this case, integration of specific volume from reference pressure to any pressure in our system dp should equal to this specific volume will be 1 over density right and density is constant you take it out you have integration of dp from p0 to p that's, that's mean you get P minus P0, right? Are you following? Okay, the point here is, let me remind you again, the point is, Right now in our energy flux, we can change every term into temperature and velocity except enthalpy term. 
So we need to change enthalpy in terms of temperature function. We can do that using thermodynamics and at the end you get this equation. Okay? In our system, the fluid is water. So therefore it is liquid. You take this path. Okay? Now, since enthalpy is relative, it's not absolute, we can take enthalpy of the reference to be any value. So we have to take them to be zero, just to be simple. Okay? So now, Plug everything back here, you get EZ. After bring enthalpy from that equation to here, you need to multiply enthalpy by density and velocity. So I'm going to expand this term to get three terms. Three terms here, one, one, two, three terms. All right? Now every term would be what we can measure. Then we, when, then we are ready to plug it back to the shell balance. <coughs> 